Hi everyone, it's Evangeline, and today we're taking a look at this inner roof rack system with the 57 inch long crossbars, and we'll see how it fits, and I'll also show you how to get it installed on your 2024 Kia Telluride. This is actually going to be one of my favorite roof rack systems for the Kia Telluride. And you'll need a roof rack if you want to carry around fun accessories like kayaks or expand your cargo space with a roof basket or a roof box. This is going to be a very sleek and low profile system while still having premium features like durability and locks that allow you to have that better adventure. This is a kit available here at eTrailer, which consists of two parts. The first being your four towers. These are going to be the Inno through towers for race rails. And then you have the crossbars paired with them. These are going to be the 57 inch long bars. Now, this is my personal kit recommendation for the Telluride because I like how they provide a little bit of overhang while the, not sitting too far out past the vehicle. How you have these set up will change how much overhang you actually get. But for example, here from our tower to the end of the crossbar, I have about two and a quarter inches of overhang. The Telluride is a slightly taller SUV, although I'm also just a slightly shorter person. So I do prefer having more overhang because then it makes it easier for me to reach the roof rack and load things onto the roof. You also get more crossbar space that you can utilize because then you can clamp your accessories to the end of the crossbar if needed. The downside to too much overhang, especially depending on where you put it, is it may come in contact with your head when you try to enter into the vehicle. Although in the case of the Telluride, since you can put your crossbars anywhere, it doesn't really matter that much. You also have to consider your roof height clearances, and there's two measurements there. The first being the distance from the roof to the bottom of the crossbar. That's how much space you'll have for clamps, uh, wing nuts, and U-bolts. Here I have it measured at around three and a quarter inches. Now the next measurement is going to be the height this adds to your roof. So again, from the roof to the top of the crossbar this time, it's going to be about, well, maybe like four and three eighths of an inch. And that's going to be on the slightly lower profile side for different roof racks, but still plenty of space there. Now imagine if you have skis with extra tall bindings, you would make sure that you have clearance so those bindings don't scratch up your roof. And knowing that measurement will help you figure out if you need to get an accessory that will give you more height. If you want to fully maximize your crossbar space, well, you do have the option of using T-Track mounted accessories. So hidden behind this shiny end cap is the access point for your T-Track accessories. If you pop this out, there we go. You can just push in on that weather strip and slide your accessories through. That way, compared to clamps that are limited by mounting around the towers, you can mount your accessory pretty much anywhere you want. You are only locking them in by this little end cap, so there is no extra security feature for the T-Track, but there is a security feature for the tower and that's going to be four lock cores included with the rack. Impressive since some premium racks don't include lock cores. These are going to be key to like and you get two keys to access the system. When you take out that door, once it is unlocked, you then get access to the tower. And here is where you can take the tower off just using this lever. It's a tool free install. But then you can also see how we have a strap that wraps around the rail. For the Telluride specifically, I prefer this style of a tower. It's gonna be a rubber wrapped metal strap that creates that tension and secures the whole system to the rail rather than just a clamp. I think that this works better. The Telluride does have this strange groove on it and I prefer something that gives me more peace of mind. It's a joke around the shop that I'm a huge fan of inner roof racks, but it makes sense for me. I think that they are a mid-range in terms of price roof rack with high level or premium features. You have that sleek low profile look, you have that easy install, you have that strap that around, wraps around the rails, plus you have locks included, which is awesome. If there is one downside, it is that you can't get those locks key to like to your other accessories. So if you're planning on investing into an ecosystem of things that mount to the roof and you want them all key to like, 
you're not gonna get that with this. You will get that with your Yakima or your Thule or even your Rhino rack options. But other than that, if you just want a solid roof rack system that secures easily and provides a really good base, then that's when you'll start looking at this Inno as my recommendation for you and your Telluride. I keep talking about how easy it is to install. Let's go take a look at that. The install process is very simple, although not entirely intuitive. So follow me as we get the tower set up onto the crossbar first. Notice the tabs on your tower or your foot pack. These need to enter into the crossbar. Now, you do not need to remove the end cap. You just need to slide this track through. Once it gets to this point, you press down and then continue sliding it through until you open up that section. So now you can fit your tower onto that open area and then you pull the tower out. If you find you're having issues with that, go ahead and press in on that strap. That might help you out. But that's it. Your tower is now attached. Now you can get your crossbar onto your roof. Gently place it onto your raised rail. You don't have to worry too hard about getting it lined up the first time. Just get it into the general area, making sure the strap is around the rail. Now you have to figure out what crossbar spread you want, which is how far forward or backward or close together do you want your crossbars. The maximum distance you can actually put this is gonna be up to 42 inches. That is measured center to center. We don't need that much crossbar spread since our accessories usually require a more conservative number. So let's go to 30 inches apart. Right, there seems pretty good. Once we've gotten to 30 inches on both sides, we can then begin to almost tighten it down. By almost tighten down, I mean loosen the strap to where you can lift that strap into its holding tabs. And then before you fully tighten down, you're gonna adjust for your cross bar overhang. You want to make sure you have an equal length of crossbar on each side. So this may change depending where on your rails you put your bars, but I've found that measuring from the tower to right before the end cap and making sure we get about three and a quarter inches of space right there seems very even for my situation. I really like how Inno doesn't require that you have a separate tool, but you can do this adjustment process with the knob integrated into the tower. So once both sides are tightened down, meaning you have a lot of tension while turning that lever, you can then close it up by getting your end cap, popping that through, and then locking it into place so it doesn't come back off. Once you've secured all four towers, plus you gave them that good old shake test, well then that's it for your install. It's gonna be very simple to remove this if ever you do need to take off your roof rack. Just make sure you store your keys in a safe spot. You do get two so you can keep one in the glove box and one with you. This is gonna create a very sleek and low profile system while also providing a really good base for your Telluride. I highly recommend it again for your vehicle. This right here was a look at the Inno roof rack system on the 2024 Kia Telluride.